Hello guys and welcome back to RPG Division. I'm Master Zayab and in this video I'm going to give you the secret of the burial mount puzzle. It's those four pillars. Anyway, first of all you need to divide your group in two small groups. Send one in this trapdoor and one in this. The goal is to activate these pillars in proper order so that you activate pillars on the in the other trapdoor over here. So the proper order for this one is maybe I miss a couple of those because I didn't don't remember because I've done it 10 minutes ago and my brain is not functioning as it should be. So let's try to do it. I think this is the correct order. I have a particularly good feeling. They always about say this when uh, when you activate the good level. Good feeling for example, I'm gonna show you what happens on the other side. I have a particularly good You can see three elements. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, don't stand in there like me. Just stupid. Now I will wait because there's going to be a fight. Stop burning, mate. Stop burning. Good, good. Okay. Uh, and let's trigger the last one. So the order is this one, this one, this one, and then this one. And now these two will be in a fight. Mysterious opponent is here. Just a second, what the hell is this weapon? Oh, it's a dagger. I thought what the hell is a sword of some kind. Anyway, I'm going to use haste and invisibility as always behind my opponent but I need to be careful not to step into this pool because I will get stunned. I separated my groups uh, with, when in one are rogue and wizard and in the other one are fighter and ranger. So let's see how that will work out. Um, mysterious opponent, let's see if I can blitz bolt him. Actually you know what? Teleportation? This? Oh, this is awesome. Stun failed, stun failed, really? Oh well. Stun is done. At least I can now move behind him and do a backstep. Now, this is one of the problems I have with the game. Sometimes it's so freaking hard to get the proper position. Anyway, he absorbed a lot of it, so I'm going to use stun. Razor's Edge. But stun failed. This guy cannot be stunned, it seems. But I'm going to kill him. Either way. Slow. I already had haste on me, so I think I'm normal now. I think at least. Uh, I cannot shoot him because of the pillar. But, move. He doesn't have any status effects, so I'm just going to use the normal bolt. No, 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 I was too hasty. Stupid, just stupid. But anyway. Let's go back for. Let's go again with backstab. It's the way to go with the thief. So, it's, uh, you can see sometimes getting to a backstabbing position can be pain in the ass, especially when you need a proper icon uh, to know when the backstab is available. Whoa! Motherfucker actually healed himself, and now he's going to cause burning. And that's very bad. That is very bad. Let's throw a heal. Will this do? I forgot to set shield. Shield make target laser resistant to water spells, but the bit more resistant shield has a negative impact on all of it. Well, to be honest, I don't need that right now. But I do need the potion. Oh, come on, how do you not have that? It's not the best damage, I gotta say. I hope. Better. 
This is a very tough opponent. I'll try to set blind status, but I think... Yeah, he's immune to any kind of status effects. That is a huge issue for me. Backstabbing him and see what happens there. I think the other group will have a lot easier task simply because of the damage output that I have with that group. Nice, nice. This is actually looking quite good. Don't kill him, come on. He healed a bit. That's okay now. I will lose the bolt. Yeah, I knew the stun would fail, but. Now have the opportunity to finish it with this guy. Let's go. Come on, don't start missing now for fuck's sake. There we go. Square pendant. Fire resistance potion. This. Okay, now we need to trigger the other group. The other uh, side. Let's try to do so now. Anyway, this one. So earth, I think this is water, air, and then fire. And here we go, fight on the other side. Mysterious opponent over there. Let's fight her. She'll be frozen for two turns. Good thing is that I have armor plus 65. Bad thing is I can't move. <laughs> so yeah. These things are immune to any kind of status effects and that's a huge issue. No, 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 no. Crap. Crap. To move. Both my potion. Oh my god, can you stop doing that? It's annoying. This is now getting very dangerous. I'm going to turn on my power uh, stance. Oh, nice. Nice, that's what I needed. She's still healing. Fucking hell. Five action points. I'm going to turn off because I want uh, two attacks rather than one at powerful. You see why? It was definitely a good decision. Charm failed. Nice. Let's be 
because I put willpower in her defense. Yes. Pop one potion just in case because I don't know if I have resurrection scroll. Can't hit the broadside of the body. I love that kind of range. But I have an axe. That's the most important thing. Doctor Scroll, Air Resistance Potion, Old Push Dagger, Item Level 5, Round Pendant. Tons of here immune to this, immune to that. I love that. That's always useful. And now that I have a pendant, I will go here. Save the game. I wasn't here because I'm doing this quest for the first time. I only did the first part uh, with those pillars a uh, couple of times to check out what's the proper turn. So anyway, I place the circular pendant over here. Try to wiggle uh, because it can be hard to pro uh, position them properly because the game has a uh, weird pathing. Here I am with the other group. As you can see the problems, not enough space, path blocked, blah blah blah. It can be quite annoying to get it right. A rectangular object seems to be missing here. Kidding me with this. So bloody luck. Here we go, finally. Anyway, time to group all my guys together. Let's go into the other room. And here we have lots of different things to loot. Every man dream. Let's loot and see what the rewards are. Maybe there are random drops. I'm on I honestly don't know at the moment. Unidentified metal armor, pretty nice. Resurrect scroll become air skill book. Yes, wow, these are actually pretty lovely things. Venomous Strike skill book. Is that for rogues? Yes, it is. Perfect. I think I see. Yeah, there was one more chest. So you can see a lot of good items. I won't be identifying them now. I actually know what I will. Smoke screen skill book. This is for drawer smoke screen pyrokinetic spells. Uh, there we go. Anyway, she is my identifier, so I'm going to do it all now. Let's check it out. Object identified armor rating for sight plus 185. Yeah, let's give it to her. Leadership plus one sight. I'm going to give that to my main guy. Mm 
Wow, this is pretty nice weapon. One guy that I may not be special, but rather good. This is good. Armor of speed. Speed plus one requires strength plus nine. I will immediately equip that on her. Really some nice stuff here. Intelligence plus one. Bodybuilding plus one. Awesome. Perfect for Jahan. Single handed plus one. Lock picking plus one. I'm going to equip that with her because we my main guy already have something similar, pickpocketing, lockpicking. This is what? Single-handed plus one. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to switch. But anyway, yeah, I digress. Not important. Now let's identify the last thing. Infected lo old longbow. Uh, to set poison no very nice against human opponents anyway guys that would be it for this part thank you for watching i hope it helped you out a bit see you in the next one don't forget to share like and subscribe